I'm right in the midst of resealing an SOS leveling valve. This is the earlier style. In this past week, I've actually taken five of them apart and overhauled them, either by just putting in new O-rings or putting in an entire rebuild kit. And we offer both kits on my website. You can reseal these leveling valves with just the O-rings. That's the number one thing that goes wrong with them. But sometimes if they get really worn out, they're high mileage, you want to go with the full kit, which includes a number of metal parts, primarily the piston assembly, new balls and spring. So you have that option. But the instructions I've been working on today will cover both kits. So either kit you purchase from me, you'll get complete instructions. They're rather lengthy because believe it or not, there's a lot of little things, a lot of little fussy things you have to do when you take one of these apart and reseal it. You have to be careful. You have to be careful not to scratch it internally. You have to be careful not to allow any dirt to get into it. And then you have to be careful to put it back together properly and get all the, the pieces inside in the right orientation to each other. Well, otherwise, it's not going to work. In fact, most of the time, if you put it together wrong, your car is going to ride real high in the back. And then you're going to know you didn't put it together correctly. <laughs> so I've got a bunch of stuff that I've included in this kit, which is going to help you. You know, getting some of these O-rings out is kind of tough. So I even modified a special little hook tool because you have to have a super fine, sharp hook tool to get in and get some of those O-rings out of those passages. It's really tough. And then I've got some cleaning supplies because you only want to use plastic. Anytime you're cleaning anything or scraping anything inside the leveling valve. So my kit, I think, is probably the most complete kit in the world for the DIYer who wants to restore or overhaul their own leveling valve. So be sure and check these out on my website. I have a bunch of other resources that could help you fix your SLS self-leveling system. My video instructions do include some detailed information on how to properly adjust the leveling valve once you get this installed back in the car. And I'll also show you some creative ways that you can get underneath the car safely and adjust the valve because the valve does need to be adjusted with the car level on the ground and the engine running. You need to keep in mind that the instructions I have in the kits that I offer on my website currently as of March of 2016 only cover this style of leveling valve. After 1985, a lot of cars started showing up with this style. I currently do not have any information or any kits on how to reseal or fix this particular leveling valve. Now, if you're looking at this video after March of 2016, you might want to go to my website and see if I've had any success at all on how to get this valve apart and successfully overhauling it. So to confirm that you have this type of valve, just get under the back of your car and look up in there behind the rear end and make sure that you have the square style. And then I can help you with the kit and instructions on my website, as well as a lot of other things that you might need to repair your old SLS system. Also, I should mention, if you live in a foreign country and would like to receive this SLS rebuild kit or any of the other kits I offer, we're more than happy to help. We do international shipping. Keep in mind that on these small packages that we can send U.S. parcel flat rate air, it's about $33 to almost any country in the world. Now, we have an international section of our website. Just go there and click on and explain more how you submit an international order. Also, you should know that I have a few of these valves that I've gone through and completely rebuilt. You'll have to check my website for current stock, but I'll put a link in the show more part of the description below and you can check out any of these rebuilt valves that we have and whether they're still available.